Hey guys, it's Tina and Alfred here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's video, we will be taste testing these Pringles instant noodles. So we recently found these instant noodles at a Japanese supermarket. Well, Alfred found them and we had to get them because he's a big fan of Pringles chips and we got two flavors. So this one is a sour cream and onion flavored instant noodle. It's actually a dry noodle, so you're supposed to drain out the water. The other flavor we got was jalapeno and this one is a soupy noodle. So, are you excited to try it? I am. I'm actually really curious to see if it tastes like the original chips. Well, we have the sour cream flavoured chips here so we can compare it. Though we don't have the jalapeno flavour because I think maybe that's just in Japan. Mm, yeah, we were looking everywhere for it. We couldn't find it. Sorry, guys. Yeah, so at least well, we've got one, one flavour to compare. And this is actually going to be our lunch because our fridge is empty and I didn't cook anything. And so we're like, perfect, we'll film our Pringles uh, taste test. So which one shall we start off with? Mm, I think well, this is my favorite flavor. So why don't we save this for last? Okay, so you want to, we'll do the soupy one first, the jalapeno one. Yeah. Okay. So first we've got to cook it. So this one is pretty easy to make. It's just like your regular instant noodles. You just add hot water to it. Inside it contains three packets of seasoning. So we're just going to add all the flavors in. And this is going to take forever because I ripped like the smallest opening. And then you just pour in the water. And then just close the lid and leave it for about three minutes. The noodles are cooked now and I don't know if you guys can see but there's actual like little red chili pieces in there. I have my extra little bowl here. Do you want to try it first? Sure. It doesn't have much of a smell. I don't know but it kind of looks spicy. Those red chilies scare me. No but when we opened the seasoning packet, yeah, there was no, there was like... no strong smell. But then oh, yeah. now it's, it's kind of muted down. There's no real aroma to this. Not really. I mean, I've never had jalapeno chips before, so I don't know how it would taste compared to the actual chips, but let's just try the noodles. You shall find out. Is it spicy? No, it's not spicy. Is it plain? It kind of looks plain. Okay. I'm just gonna transfer into my bowl. It tastes like a chicken flavor. <laughs> it, it tastes like a chicken flavor. Yeah. It's kind of plain. Um, it's not spicy. I can't even taste the jalapeno, to be honest. No. Uh, it's a bit of a letdown. It actually just tastes like a, like a Maggie chicken flavored instant noodle. It doesn't even have a kick mm. to it. It's not peppery. It's not spicy. You're right. It tastes like Maggie, Maggie noodles. Oh, what a bummer. I mean, it's okay. It's not like, it's not bad. It just has no unique flavor to it, really. Wait, let me try the, the soup. Ah, it's just flicked into my eye. This is dangerous. This is a dangerous sport, guys. Careful. Okay. Yep, chicken flavored noodles, guys. Mm. Not bad, I mean. Would you buy it again? Mm. Yeah, same. I probably wouldn't buy this again. I'd rather just buy like some generic chicken flavored noodles if I wanted yeah. that. What a letdown. It's a letdown, but we're gonna finish it anyway because we're so hungry and this is our lunch. Did you try the actual chili pieces? Um, 
No, I didn't. Did you? Mm, no, I just got some now, so I'm gonna. I'll try it as well. I'm gonna try the little red chili. It's no. like I'm. Tastes like plastic. It doesn't. It's not spicy at all. There's no flavor. Mm. It's literally. It's probably plastic. If you don't. You. We wouldn't even know. No, you should have done. You should have gotten your red chilies from the fridge and cut it up and put it in the noodles. Mm. I'm looking forward to this one. This one looks like it has more flavor. Okay, let's just quickly finish this and then we'll move on to the next one. This one is the sour cream and onion flavor. This one is a little bit different when you make it. There's instructions on the box. They're in Japanese though, but I feel like it, they're pretty straightforward. First I'm gonna open step A. And inside there are two seasoning packets. So we're not gonna season it first, we're just gonna boil the noodles. And let that cook for three minutes. Okay, so three minutes is up and I'm gonna peel this side. And here you got some holes to drain the water, so we're just gonna do that now. Now I'm going to remove the rest of the lid. And add in the flavour. And then give it a good mix. So the noodles are done and I also have here the sour cream and onion chips so we can compare after we have a try of the noodles. It looks really plain, but anyways, it smelled a lot better than the other one. You can taste the sour cream mm. and onion. I can, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's like the best noodles I've ever eaten, but the flavour, I mean, I can see where they got the sour cream and onion from. Like, it de definitely, you, you definitely taste that flavour in these noodles. Yeah, the flavour is a lot stronger than the jalapeno flavoured noodles. It tastes, I would say it tastes like the actual chips. But I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Like, I don't know if this... Okay, well, let's just open this up. I hate it when I get those broken Pringles. I don't know, I think my taste buds are playing tricks on me because of these noodles. It's kind of overpowering my taste buds. Now that I go back to eat the noodles, it's not... It doesn't have as much flavour as the chips, right? This is a lot stronger. What, this? You feel like this is a lot stronger? I feel like the chips, the chips are... I feel like the chips had a lot more flavour. But maybe because you didn't mix it properly, I saw like yeah. a lump of like... I think I'm eating like pockets seasoning. of powder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my part's quite plain. I think you've got all the flavour there. Absolutely. I think maybe if you make it, leave a little bit of the water in it so then you pop when you pop the seasoning on, it's not as like clumpy. I agree. Yeah, yeah I think you should have saved bit, some of the water. The noodles are a bit too dry. Mm. Some parts are really salty. This one definitely has a lot more flavour, but like I said, I prefer my noodles tasting a particular way. Like Shin Ramen. Okay, we love Shin Ramen. I'll tell you a little story, like Al, we were so happy when we received a box of Shin Ramen noodles as PR from them, and we got these like matching mugs. Mm -hmm. Our life was complete that day, and we totally finished that box with them, what, like? couple of weeks. Yeah. That was the best PR package we ever got. <laughs> but I'm a fan of the chips still, so I'm gonna eat this and not the noodles. Alright, I'll finish the noodles. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I, yeah. I, yeah. I, I feel like me growing is totally way yeah. better than this if I had to do like a dry, dry noodle. Me mm -hmm. is the best. But I'm just so hungry that I'm just gonna eat this. 
This is so good. Oh, I was, yeah. Some of these bits are not mixed properly. I'm definitely going to need to have a glass of water after this because it's so salty. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Am I satisfied? No. I feel like we need to go out and grab something more like substantial for my lunch. I feel like that kind of just mm. made me hungrier. I'm not hungry, I just feel sick. You feel sick? Yeah. But yeah, I think it is a little bit sickening. What would you rate these noodles? Okay, let's go with the first one, the jalapeno ones. You know what, now looking back, I feel like the jalapeno ones were probably a bit better because- It wasn't you know, too much, it wasn't too empowering. As, it it right. wasn't as sickening, right. So this one, the first bite, there's a bit more flavor, so you're like, cool, but then as you eat it, and I, we ate like half, or maybe I ate a little bit more than half, but still like, I did feel like I've had enough, like of the flavor, it's a bit like too much, it's a bit sickening, too salty. So maybe in hindsight, the jalapeno flavor was better, because it had that soup as well. Because it just tastes like chicken noodles. What would you rate it? Um, I would rate this, I would rate it like a 4 out of 10. The sweet onion and Like switch. both of them. I feel like they're on par. Like, four. Yeah, I feel like because this one has more flavour and that one had, the other one had lacked the flavour but then it wasn't as sickening. So both of these I will not buy again or I, I definitely would not crave this ever. Um, though if, you, if you're a big fan of the sour cream and onion flavour, Give it a go, maybe you'll like it. But uh, yeah, I guess like when it comes to like a savory noodle snack or something, you want like, I don't know, like shin ramen. Nothing beats shin ramen. Number one soup noodle. Or me green. Number one dry noodle. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't quote Alfred on that. That's just on his list. <laughs> I think I like the, uh, I think I like the sour cream and onion a bit less than jalapeno. I agree with you. Less? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The, there was definitely more flavor in the sour sour cream and onion but it was just too much flavor too much yeah it just doesn't feel like it belonged as a noodle yeah it maybe sense. it's just got to stay as a potato chip guys yeah yeah pringles you keep making those chips and maybe stay away from like the instant noodles category for now so i'm gonna give i'm gonna give the sour cream a three a three Ooh, jalapeno okay. a four okay and the original a ten so that is it to our video guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed that. If you guys want to see more episodes of Tina Tries featuring Alfred and particularly with food related content, let us know below. For now, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and follow us on Instagram and we shall see you guys next time. Bye!